Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today we're going to be taking a look at the strongest beverage in the Budweiser family. So, like I said, we're going to be checking out the strongest beverage in the Budweiser lineup family. I'm not talking about InBev's lineup, I'm talking about something that says Budweiser or Bud Light. And that is Bud Light Platinum Hard Seltzer. So, the world's biggest beer company, its highest beverage is a hard seltzer. Okay. Bud Light Platinum Seltzer, made with real agave and triple filtered with natural fruit flavors, wild berry, citrus, and blood orange. Bud Light Platinum Seltzer is a premium hard seltzer made for those refreshing evenings filled with endless possibilities. All right, so let's give these uh, a try. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, gonna go with the citrus first. Bud Light Platinum Seltzer Citrus. Comes in at an 8% ABV. Eight unavailable IBUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 2.9. Okay, just like most seltzers, um, it's, well, just clear. It looks like water. Uh, a little bubble of a carbonation, but uh, not too much. I have like a single bubble going. There, there's citrusy, but there's a, like kind of a malt liquor sugary aroma to it as well. Not pleasant, but not unpleasant. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's crisp, citrusy. I mean, it's like, hmm. you ever have like off-putting, flat, Seven Up, you know, whatever the Kirkland Sam's choice is. It's it's that kind of citrusy flavor. It's like it's trying to be, you know, Sprite Seven Up. It's whatever like the Soda Stream. Uh, syrups taste like and you're trying to water it down yourself I don't know there's just something not good about it not refreshing about it it just doesn't make it taste refreshing like some of the other seltzers that are out there now again all the other seltzers are well basically five percent you know half a percent either way so this coming in at eight percent yeah you're kind of expecting more of a burn but I do recall kind of liking a one of the Paps Extreme Hard Seltzers or whatever they were called. And those were 8% too. Um, and they came in a 16 ounce can. There is a sweetness to this that I don't like. And there are three grams of added sugar. It's cane sugar, an agave syrup, malted rice. I don't know. Not not a not a big fan of this one. I mean it's better than like the Four Loco, but it definitely has more of that malt liquor. But still coming in at 170 calories, you're still on point for basically just adding that extra 4% from the original Bud Light seltzer, which is at 5%. So you're talking, what is that? Um, uh, 20 calories per uh, percentage, 100 calories for 5%, so yeah. So you're 10 calories extra, so I'm betting it's probably the sugar. Um, okay, let's go with the blood orange. Bud 
Bud Light Platinum Seltzer Blood Orange comes in at an 8% ABV, a unavailable IBUs. It gets an average rating on Untapped of 2.87. Okay, so this one does basically look just like, well, all other seltzers and the last one. Um, it does appear to have a much more active um, carbonation stream going up the center. So I'm hoping maybe more carbonation or maybe this glass is just a little bit better. A lighter nose, so not as multi liquory and artificially as the citrus, but a hint of orange, a hint of orange. So it's better because it kind of draws you in because there's a little bit less there and it's a little less offensive. So, okay. Yeah, no, that works. Okay. That one actually isn't that bad. Yeah, that's 8%. That's pretty darn good. Uh, it does have a hint of malt licoriness to it, kind of at the back end. The orange and the alcohol really do balance itself a lot better than the citrus. And the more and more you drink into it, the uh, orange aroma actually really stands out to be very pleasant. Like I said, it's not super overpowering at first, but once you're about midway there, you're like, okay, there's a nice hint of orange. And unlike the citrus one, this one doesn't have that overly sweet malt liquor kind of aroma. This just has the orange and it's very nice. So it reminds me very much of just a plain hard seltzer. I'm thinking this is 5% going into this just with my nose. So that's really nice in the fact that it's tricking me and really hiding that extra 3%. You do taste it though in the body. The body's a lot thicker than your standard seltzer. This is this is Imperial IPA category. It's got citrusy orange zest to it. Heck, if we made this into a hazy, oh, there's a video idea. Anyways, if we made this into like a hazy hopped orangey citrusy thing, it could be a beer, you know? Anyways, so, so far getting a little bit better. I'm hoping that this wild berry is the best. Bud Light Platinum Seltzer Wild Berry comes in at an 8% ABV, a unavailable IVUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 2.91. Um, a steady single bubble, just like the first one. Again, uh, both all look the same. This has the strongest aroma of all three. Very candy, um, smells like an air freshener from my bathroom or car, you know, that you would hang, it says wild berry. Then you pretty much know what the aroma is gonna smell like. Ooh lot of berry flavor. Now this one has the most fruit flavor. Okay, it's, it's, let's be honest, this is raspberry and strawberry flavor basically. Mostly raspberry actually. Um, the citrus one was just malt liquor. The orange one seemed to be very close to a traditional 5% seltzer. Um, the closest out of the three anyways, okay? I'm not gonna lie, you'll be able to tell the difference, but it's the closest. This one 
is like the middle child in here. There is more fruitiness, there's more aromatics. Um, there's a little bit more of that malt liquor than this one, but not much, not much. Because of that, it kind of dings us. And because there's an overpowering of that berry, it's kind of less refreshing, actually. I kind of almost like more of a hint. It made me think of more of a traditional just seltered water. This is definitely a flavored water. More along the lines of, you guys ever have that clearly Canadian sparkling water, or, you know, fruited water type thing? They had a berry one. It really kind of reminds me of that with just a hint more maltiness to it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, it really tastes a lot like that. And actually, so if you know what I'm talking about, I don't know, do they even sell it anymore? Let me know. Really, if, you don't, if you're looking for more of a berry flavor versus an orange, this is pretty close to being on par. It hides that 8% ABV very, very well. Is it super refreshing? No, it's not because it has a bit more body and you're kind of tasting that thickness in it, that sugariness. You almost taste the 8%, but not in a burning way, just in a body and it's not as refreshing way. I mean, if you've ever chugged a big beer or something that's heavy, it's not crisp and refreshing like say a light Pilsner or lager. Um, this is like that. I, I don't want to chug this to where as a regular seltzer, I could chug, but these two are pretty good when you think about it. Now, again, honestly, think about this. These are the largest ABV beverages under the Budweiser name. Yes, it's Budweiser Plat, wait, Bud, Bud Light Platinum Seltzer. Wait a second. How can a Bud Light be the highest ABV item that they have? I thought I thought light was like low ABV. Or is it low calorie? Because well, Bud Light Platinum, the beer is only 6%. Bud Weiser is only 5%. This is 8%. Why would you? Wouldn't you name it like Bud Ice Seltzer then? Something to be your biggest, what a semantics. Anyways, two out of the three of them I think are okay, they're decent. 170 calories for an 8% alcoholic beverage. Uh, that's pretty darn good. I mean, again, for an IPA or comparable beer, you're probably looking at least 50 to 60 calories, if not even more than that. Granted, those probably do taste a whole heck of a lot better. But again, if you're looking for those seltzer people, if you are a seltzer person, if you're looking for uh, of the lowest calorie possible, but to get your ABV. Um, if your girl or significant other likes the seltzers more than beers, you know, that's what you're going for. You're wanting a little bit more kick for that special occasion, floating down the river at the park, who knows, whatever, doing that summer fun stuff. My favorite actually is the blood orange. Uh, between aroma, the balance of malt, the balance of flavor, sweetness, the blood orange is my favorite. Next comes the wild berry. It's overly powerful in the aroma. So if you're really looking for that big artificial, you know, wax candle, bathroom spray, car air freshener, berry smell, this is the drink for you. Now the citrus one. Mmm. Oh. Oh man, it, it doesn't age well. I mean, that's, nope, nope. Just steer clear of it. Just steer clear of it, unless you like malt liquor. But really, if you're gonna buy this, just get the Four loco. No, get rid of that, get rid of that. All right, guys, see you guys later.
Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media stuff. The links for those will be at the very bottom of the description. Um, have you gotten to try the Bud Light Platinum Hard Seltzers? I know I'm not the first person to review these. These have been out for a while and I didn't want to do a review on just one of them because that's all I could find. So I finally found the Variety Pack. Um, it kind of intrigued me that they were the highest Budweiser product. Uh, name with it on there and so that really intrigued me to do the seltzers um, Do you want me to do more seltzer reviews? Um, something different. I mean, I'm, I try to find interesting stuff. Anyways If you have tried these let me know if these which one was your favorite flavor I'm still going with this orange but my god that citrus is horrible Whew. Cheers guys